The FBI says that the election systems in at least two states have been hacked so far this year. Donald Trump has raised concerns that the election will be rigged in favor of Hillary Clinton. Well, based on new evidence that we have seen, it looks like Trump is right. The future of America is at stake in this next election, and the deck seems to be stacked in favor of Hillary Clinton. And wait until you see who is doing the stacking for her. Patriots need to speak out right now and demand that George Soros' Open Society Foundation be banned from the United States before it's too late. I'll explain in just a moment. It's time for another blistering report from the front lines of the cultural war for a constitutional America. And now, here's your host, Charles Benninghoff. George Soros is a billionaire socialist investor who has poured $25 million into liberal super PACs supporting Hillary Clinton this year. It's been a busy year for Soros. He has also donated approximately $100 million to Black Lives Matter, you know, the terrorist movement. Plus, Soros has been hard at work flooding America with unvetted Syrian refugees as part of his open society efforts to destroy the USA through mass immigration. Breitbart News reports that Soros' Open Society Foundation has been lobbying states to deploy new electronic voting systems. Well, why would the Soros Foundation be pushing electronic voting? What connection could there be? Well, it's because George Soros has close ties to the companies making the machines. This allows Soros to kill two birds with one stone. He can steal make money for the states that purchase his voting machines, and he can ensure that his only approved candidate can win. How you like that, a two-for-oneer? Soros doesn't even need to worry about employing hackers since his people are building the machines and running the software. He's the hacker. This might be the most serious threat to the American elections in the entire history of our country. Here's the proof. A company called Smartmatic is the largest supplier of electronic voting machines in the world. Guess who runs Smartmatic? That's S-M-A-R-T hyphen M-A-T-I-C. Well, the chairman of the company is a British guy named Lord Mark Malik Brown. Malik Brown also happens to sit on the board of the Open Society Foundation and formerly served as vice chairman of George Soros' investment funds. How's that for a connection? Plus, he seems to be a good friend of Soros's. There have been allegations since at least 2010 that George Soros is part owner of a Spanish company that provides electronic voting machines to eight American states and the District of Columbia. Soros is pushing the expansion of electronic voting machines in America. He makes money off the machines and he's donated $25 million of the money that he's made to help his good friend and buddy Hillary Clinton win the election. This is so crooked, you can't even call it a conflict of interest. This is outright robbery of the 2016 elections. Shocking. All the machines that can be linked back to George Soros need to be yanked out of service and banned completely, and Congress needs to ban Soros and his companies completely. I hope you'll speak out on this issue and help us to ensure the integrity of the 2016 elections. Please, go to our action page and speak out today. You can instantly send personalized letters to Congress demanding an immediate ban of all electronic voting systems that could be linked directly or indirectly to George Soros and his Open Society Foundation. Stay tuned, because the next screen, you'll hear instructions on how to get to our action page. Don't let George Soros steal the 2016 elections through voter fraud and put his chummy buddy, Hillary Clinton, into office. This is Charles Benninghoff signing off and wishing you freedom, fulfillment, and God's many blessings. Here is how you can take action on this issue today. If you're watching this on our action page on our website, just use the form to the right of the video screen to select a program. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, click the icon appearing now to find a link to our action page or look for the link in the description. Speak out today.